There's no other way to put it, guys. Most definitely the worst best friend there has ever been in the history of best friends. About two years ago, I decided to hit on my friend Jimmy. He was already, I think he was like in college. I don't remember. Uh, or no, he wasn't. He wasn't in college yet. He, we was about to graduate or something like that. I don't remember completely. But I decided I was gonna hit on my, my friend Jimmy. I hadn't seen him in a while. I think he was in school already. So I hit him up. I was like, yo, what are you doing? He was like, nothing. I'm back in town though, because he goes to school in San Diego. I was like, all right, cool. Let's, dude, we should definitely do something. So I knew Jimmy had a crush on this girl that went to school with us. And I decided since I'm, I'm kind of, kind of somewhat friends with her too. I was like, yo, I'm gonna call her up and I'm gonna invite her to go get coffee with us so she agreed she was like yeah sure i'll go get coffee with you guys seems like a no big deal and i was like all right cool it'll be fun there's three of us going to get coffee just you know just just gonna go talk i hadn't talked to these people in a while so i thought let's do this it's not gonna be a big deal so if you guys saw my last video I'll, i told you guys about how i put my friend jimmy in just a really awkward situation you know i went to the, we went to, for the first time it would have been my first time going to buffalo wild wings i'd never been there and we turns out we ran into his ex-girlfriend and that that was not that was not a good thing my shot is so off right now, I've been playing too much Modern Warfare 3. So I'm constantly putting Jimmy in these really bad situations where it's just completely awkward. And I'm not doing this on purpose guys, you guys gotta believe me, I don't do this stuff on purpose. Things like this just happen. That should have been a triple. No. That should have been a triple, I just missed a triple. So we decided we were going to meet up at a Starbucks that's pretty nearby. Okay, we were all going to meet up there. So she works out at a place like pretty much is just right next to the Starbucks. So we were just going to, me and Jimmy were just talking there, waiting. And just Jimmy tells me the worst thing he probably could have told me and that made me really feel awful. So he told me that he, he, he hasn't talked to this girl in a long time. And he really doesn't want to talk to this girl because she was just a waste of time. Like she was just one of those girls that just, just messes with guys' emotions. I guess and uh, he, he just didn't want to deal with her anymore me and Jimmy usually tell each other everything but he, he he decided to leave this detail out of every conversation we've had I don't I don't know why he did it he just he just did it so we were waiting for this girl to show up we were like okay we're already here we can't just leave anymore that would be totally messed up just that's that's a next level of messed up right there if we would have just left because he didn't want to deal with any of that so we decided to stay and one of the weirdest things ever so there were these like bikers there at starbucks getting their coffee and they were they parked right in front of us me and jimmy were sitting outside they had tables set up outside and we were, we were sitting outside guys and all of a sudden these 30 or 40 50 year olds i don't know how old they were they they were old though <laughs> i know they were old they were a lot older than me and jimmy and they started hitting on like some 15 year old girls that was the weird i was like what i can't believe this is happening right in front of my eyes like what do i do do i do i stand up and slap them do i do i do i try to stop it do i just say something i didn't know what to do i couldn't believe what was going on right in front of my eyes like there was it was just so weird so the whole time we were just sitting there we were laughing because okay like they they were just asking them about their bikes but they were trying to hit on the girls and we knew nothing was going to happen if something like they offered a ride or something then me and jimmy would have stepped in and, and, and put a stop to it but other than that it seemed like they weren't going to do anything so we were all right like i just couldn't believe what was going on they I, I i really <laughs> it was just so weird that these guys were just trying to pick up some freak some teenagers right in front of us like these guys were really trying to go to jail so once those bikers are le left and the freaking and the girls left with their parents we made sure that like nothing weird was going on we were like okay they left with their parents we we got to make sure that there's no kidnap kidnapping situation going on right in front of us that we could have prevented so jimmy had told me that he wasn't talking to her anymore that kind of just kind of blocked her out you know irl block button you know i didn't really ask jimmy why he didn't want to talk to her i thought okay he must have his reasons um i'm not gonna really bother him if he doesn't want to talk to talk about it you know if he wants to tell me about it he'll tell me about it but i'm not really gonna push him for it this is when i realized that oh my god why do i keep putting jimmy in the most awkward situations ever like he hadn't talked to this girl 
in I don't know how long, and he really didn't want to. And I noticed that I keep I kept putting him in these situations where it's just things are just super awkward. If you're watching this, Jimmy, I want you to know that I'm not doing this on purpose. It just things happen. Don't worry, guys. The story gets even worse. When she finally arrives, and I think she went to the bathroom. Jimmy tells me, "Oh yeah, did you know she's also dating like one of one of my best friends from high school?" Like I, I personally believe you can have more than one best friend. A lot of people say, "No, it's your best friend, and that's your best friend." I, I personally believe you can have more than one best friend. So he was like, "Okay, one of one of my best friends. His name's Brian from school. I'm the I'm the I'm." I have more time as his best friend, guys. I'm competitive like that. Just kidding. It's just, you know, me and friend, me and Jimmy have been best friends for a longer time. But it turns out he, he was dating, she was dating this girl. And I thought it was just like, wow, like that's so awkward. I put him in an even worse position than I thought in the first place. Not only did I, I, did I schedule a gathering of sorts with this girl that he didn't want to talk to anymore and I find out the reason is because she's 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 going out with his best friend and I was like whoa like I'm really the worst person alive right now and that was that was just awful anyways if you guys did enjoy this little story please don't forget to drop a like comment subscribe as always I'm beat lates